Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to the Digitally Downloaded Podcast, the companion podcast for DigitallyDownloaded.net. I said the name wrong, it's actually Digitally Uploaded. That was here to trick you all. No, that's okay. <laughs> we'll forgive you. We're all awake now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, with me this week, as you probably can tell, is Matt. Hello, Matt. Hello. Hello. We, we've also got Trent as well. Hello. Yes, we've all been pushed away from Smash, which is unfortunate because it's sitting at my desk right now and I want it. Um, so we've got a couple of things to talk about this week, but I think the first thing that I want to mention is the fact that Starbreeze got raided. <laughs> um, so they might have been doing some insider trading over at Starbreeze, which is really unfortunate given they're working on Psychonauts 2 now, supposedly. Um, if you don't know who Starbreeze is, they're a Polish-based developer. Uh, they've made a b- bunch of games actually recently. Um, um, yeah, they've, they've had some had some troubles with the law, which is unfortunate because they are pretty competent to what they do most of the time. Um, have they made yeah. anything good? Yeah, I think they've made some good stuff. I'm trying to think of the exact thing so I don't make a mistake because I want to say... <laughs> you've, caught, you've caught me out there, Matt, because I was trying to... I was trying to um, sort of buy myself time. <laughs> so, so basically what you're saying is they've been too busy you know, doing insider trading to actually make games that people remember. No, Brothers A Tale of Two Sons was them. I wasn't oh, okay. entirely sure it was them, but it was definitely them. And also okay, Syndicate that's a good game. from 2012. <laughs> well, Syndicate is not a good game. It is not. It's also bad. Um, but Brothers is good. Very Brothers, good. Brothers is fantastic. Um, yeah, so okay. they've had a bit of a problem, but that's all right. We'll see how we go. <laughs> um, Matt, <laughs> Matt, what's your, what's your piece of news of the week? So I was very excited because out of nowhere, um, there's a, a new um, King Arthur's World on the way, which is an old Super Nintendo game that I loved very dearly and uh, spent a lot of time playing back when I was a kid. Um, and I didn't think we'd ever see another one of those. And yet there we are. Somebody got the IP and is making one. It's only a mobile game. We don't know if it'll be any good or not, but just the fact that somebody's working on King Arthur's world is it feels like it's a force of good in the world it feels like it's something good something good's happening Alan oh that's good it looks all like act razor and that's what I'm getting from it but it looks cool it looks like a I fun video don't yeah. know if, I don't know if I remember act razor but um, it, I mean it's basically like a 2d real-time strategy game so you build units and then send them on little quests to go and kill stuff and I think you a bit like Swords and Soldiers, then. A bit like play- Swords and Soldiers. Yeah, a little bit. Cool. But um, That's a yeah. fun game. I probably yeah. like this. It's good. It's Neat. good. I'm very, very happy about this. Neat. And Trent. Hello. Well, because I've got a hangover, the last news I re- saw on the internet was that the Avengers 4 trailer dropped. And I know that's not for a video game, but damn it, it's good news for everyone who likes Avengers. So, not myself or Matt. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> what? I like Avengers. <laughs> okay, well, not for I like me. Avengers a lot. I just assumed that you think that's good, Matt. Matt probably likes No, I like Avengers a so. great deal. <laughs> cool. I, I, I really... I really liked how at the end of the last Avengers or the the half. I don't know if you Avengers should when... spoil this. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's in the trailer for the new one. You can spoil it. Oh. Well, no, I, I, I was just going to say in the previous Avengers, as in the Avengers that's just come and gone, I, I liked how everybody was so shocked that all these characters were dying um, because they that just shows that there's clearly a lot of people out there that are fans of the movies that has not read the comics. Um, but anyway. Yeah, but also, you know, the fact that, you know, there's like multi-million dollar deals to have a movie like continued movies. And it's like, oh, this character's dying, boo-hoo. And it's like, oh, no, it's <laughs> the next like five movies like <laughs> yeah yeah it's it, it, it's hilarious that um there's so many fans of the movies and then yeah they claim to be fans of the movies they haven't read the comic book naughty very naughty yeah Do you say that personally to me is is this what's happening i'm saying that personally to everybody <laughs> i mean i took the i went to the effort to actually read the bloody comic books when i discovered i quite like the avengers um I didn't read them before. See, I it's just read the hard. Punisher yeah. one where he kills everyone, and that was great. <laughs> that was fantastic. Which is, which is sure the Punisher was that pretty much all of them. Uh, no, the one where he sends all the X Men to the moon and then nukes the moon. <laughs> that, ah. was, that was pretty good. 
<laughs> that, that was pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Kind of um, anyway, we're going to have some music. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> And welcome back. That was Sombun Sakura from Miku. Matt's told me to say it, so I have to say it now. And that means I have to put it in the actual music as well, which is a bit frightening. I'm going to put a different yeah, song in there Yeah, I wasn't going to let you get away with that, Alan. I wasn't <laughs> going to let you get away with it. I'm going to start a fight over a piece of music, because apparently that's a reasonable thing to do. Anyway, let's start a fight over Game Awards. <laughs> no, we're not actually going to do that. Um... So if you were at the internet on Friday Australia time or Thursday night everywhere else in the world time, um, you would have seen the Game Awards happen then. There was a bunch of really interesting announcements that happened there and we're all going to pick a couple of them and say why we like one or not. Um, first things I want to talk about is the fact that we have a remaster of Crash Team Racing and that game is fantastic. Um, it's just mm. Mario Kart. It's just Mario Kart. <laughs> like, mm. Why do you hate fun? <laughs> Why are you just anti-fun? 
<laughs> Actually, I like the one that was on the Game Boy Advance, I think. So that was Nitro was Kart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was well, cool. that's fun, cool. that one, actually. I, I really enjoyed that. So you liked the worst good... game, but you hate... Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well... I, I'm with Matt. <laughs> I liked the Game Boy 1 as the well. The Game Boy 1 was good, yeah. Like, they were fine. They were all just Super Mario Kart, but... There's some... Well, no, the Super Mario Kart and the Game Boy Advance wasn't that great. Um, so Crash Mario hey, well. Kart was, like, really good. <laughs> Konami Crazy oh. Races was where it was at. You could play oh, as Oh, I like that one. That was great. You could play <laughs> that as was actually Dracula. good. I know. I was, I was very surprised that you knew it. But, yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Nitro Kart's coming out. Not Nitro Kart. Uh, Team Racing's Racing, coming sorry. out. And that's exciting. Should be good. Yeah. Um, if it's got the same level of polish as the Spyro and Crash remasters, I'm sure it'll be fantastic. So basically the old game bottled into a new game, really boring. So what we really need is a Sonic racing game again. Because They're making they one. They have one. They're, They're literally one making, making one. one. <laughs> what? What? Yes, you missed that, did you? They announced that like three years ago. Well, where yeah, is it? it? It's still coming. It's still coming. It's on its way. I, I was slightly exaggerating three still good. years ago. But I'm pretty sure we've actually talked about this on a podcast which you were on before, Trent. Um, it's probably a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's how long it is. I completely forgot it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a it, thing. It's happening. What yeah. we actually need is a new chocobo racer. No, we don't. Yes, we, do. we do not. Bad game. We do. <laughs> we really do. It was great. He raced on like roller skates, Alan. I know, but that doesn't make him better. It makes him an idiot. He, anyway, he was racing <laughs> roller skates. <laughs> anyway, it's a great, Matt, great. Matt, let's stop talking um, about Chocobo. What, what's the thing that you thought was cool that was announced? Well, I was looking forward to a, a trailer for Chocobo uh, Racing, um, but it didn't happen. So um, everything sucks. So it's the visual medium of podcasting. I'm rolling my <laughs> eyes as hard as I can. <laughs> um, no, I like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Mortal Kombat was cool. Um, people think I don't like Mortal Kombat because I'm always ranting on about how shitty like violence is going in games. Except that's not really the case. I actually like violent games, and Mortal Kombat is a very violent game, and that's why I like it because it's so over the top and so extreme. It's kind of well, it's it's satirical and it's self referential, it's super dumb. And it's funny, <laughs> and it's great, and it's hilarious, and it's um. Uh, yeah, I, I'm actually a big fan of Mortal Kombat and um, played the last one. Actually, no, the one that I played the most was the one before, the first one that got unbanned Nine. in Australia. Uh, yeah. Yeah, with um, Freddy. With yeah. Freddy. Yeah, Freddy I like great. how Freddy they was also my very clearly knew their target demographic and just added in horror movie icons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it's great. It's like, really yeah, great. But you can't really argue with it. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to Mortal Kombat 11. I'm sure it's going to be really great. My actual main character is Cassie, and I'm sure she'll be back. She's great. Um, well, she didn't die in X, did she? She's still technically alive. Alan, they pretty much all die in everyone. No, no, no. No, she's not dead, though. <laughs> all the fatalities. You, know, you don't really come back from a fatality. Oh, my God, Matt. No. There's <laughs> a plot in these games? Yes. Yes, there is. It's they, great. Really it's amazing. <laughs> They're, they're like the, way better than you'd expect. Yeah, they're, they're complete like satires of Hollywood action films, and they're great. They're brilliant. I love them. Um, but yeah, Smash Smash 4 should have been. The last one I played was the 64 version. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, you, sh you should probably play the new Mortal Kombats. They're really good. Yeah. They've really picked up the gameplay, too, um, and they play really well. Yeah. Is it going to be a free so, classification in Australia again? No, no it'll be fine. It'll get an R rating because it's only violent. It's not. It's not swimwear. I mean, you can probably make them wear that. It'll probably be in the game. Ed Boon's making it. There's probably that option. Um, I also want to point out as well before we move on that Sonic Fox won the best esports player. And shout out to my boy, cool dude, generally rad person. Go look up his interview if you haven't seen it yet because he is just a pleasant person and it makes me happy. Anyway, Trent. Um, what was, a, what was an announcement that you were into? Well, I, I think the biggest announcement I was probably into was, um, well, there's just so many. Like, like I, unlike Matt, I actually watched the whole thing because, you know, I had the day off because it was my birthday and that was a great idea. And oh, happy birthday, Trent. We should sing happy birthday for Trent. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy well, we birthday in a podcast. Tread. No. Or, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Trent. <laughs> but anyway, that's my point. Oh my god, I'm editing all of this out. This entire podcast is edited out. No. What you're anyway. gonna edit out my beautiful singing voice? Yes. That's mean, Alan. That's really mean. It hurts me. Good. So, 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 so there were actually there were actually good games. One of them was Hello's new game, Hello, Hello, Hello Games. The people which made uh, what do you call it? That really the bad game, game where you lie a lot. Yeah. What? <laughs> no Mad Sky. Oh, yeah, oh, that was terrible, the game, Alan. The game where you lie. <laughs> Da, 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 da. But but the good news is this like little <laughs> game which they're making is uh, it's got uh, Lost Winds developers like working on it. Oh, sick! Yes, see, told you you'd be interested in that. And then the, the the other thing I'm interested in is that the um that human um ancestry one with the monkeys that looks cool as well. Yeah, but I don't know what it's going to play like, but it looks interesting. It human like, ancestry with the monkeys. I, I'm. I'm... <laughs> I it was missed this like, trailer. It was, is it like evolution. your great, 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 great grandparents as monkeys? No, 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 no. The, the whole plot is you're in Africa and you play from like um, the day humans like, um, uh, uh, like were like monkeys up until the point um, to, what is it? Lucy? Lucy? That's the monkey's name? Lucy? Sure. Yeah, it's now Lucy if it's not Lucy. Anyway, so you play up until Lucy, like the first like technical modern human ape. Yeah. And yeah, so, right. Like, I am so confused You have, like, right tools. Now. You, like, hunt, like, animals. You, like, vicious apes swinging in the trees. It's great. Hmm. I, I am so confused right now. Is it like an open-world Ubisoft game? I yes. don't. But it's monkeys. called Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey. Yes. Okay. It tells you almost nothing about what the game is, but that's okay. Um... There's also a uh, Hades reveal trailer as well, which was exciting because if you've played any super giant games games before, you're probably going to be into that instantly. Um, it looks almost exactly like Bastion from the perspective and the gameplay sense, but there might be something different. I also um, believe that it's the very first game on the Epic Games Store as well, which is interesting. Which and also is on the Epic Games Store from the Game Awards. It's mm. actually had a really solid launch. Yeah, it's actually like better than I expected by far, which is shocking. Um, and I guess the final thing to mention as well uh, would be Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 being a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Oh, yes. Which is cool. because And that, developed that by cool. Team Ninja. That's Team Ninja. Team Ninja. What? Team Ninja. I yep, no Team idea. Ninja developing that one. That's cool. That's why I made a tweet. I was like, the, actually, the Avengers game we all wanted was actually Avengers Warriors because, yeah, Koei Tecmo is actually working with the Avengers license, which is, yeah, that's cool. That is really good news. Awesome. That'll be great. Yeah. No, yeah. That'll, that'll be fun game. You don't watch it. You only get half the information, guys. You should have watched it like I did. It was like, what, four hours? You know, it would have killed your afternoon, but it would have been worth it. I was playing Well, Smash. see, I would have watched it. <laughs> they had all, they had, yeah, firstly, we were playing Smash, and secondly, they had all the awards bits in there, which were not very interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. It's not It's not, uh, It's not. not a good idea to call your thing the Games Awards when actually people are just coming to watch trailers for upcoming games. You should call it, like, E3-2 or something. Plus, the music I mean, was bad this year probably... because the music which won this year was a game which doesn't have any music. What do you mean? Red, 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 Red Dead 1. Ones. What do you mean it has no music? It has music. music. It, it has music, music. Uh, what, what, what are you talking about? Whoa. <laughs> I mean, it has it has very... It has, it has some of the most impactful Western... music moments I've ever experienced in a game. And what certainly oh, that's not bad for impact. Okay, well, it's also just really good, and it's interesting, and it's well-scored, it's well-performed, and I can't complain about but, that. But every other game in that category was more deserving. No. Yes. Red Dead deserves everything it just gets. It's perfect. Well, that's just that was one game with the God of the Year. Like, even Yakuza 6 was a better um, daddy game than uh, God of War. So that, that should, like, clearly disqualify it from being a Game of the Year contender. No. Yes. Good game. 10 out of 10. Yes. <laughs> no. Um, I think that's pretty much everything that we want to... that we really want to say... 
I guess. Do we have anything else to add before we head to some music? No, let's go to some music. Let's go to something pretty good, which means not from Reddit. Why do you hate good? <laughs> I just like annoying you, Alan. No, it's just... Ah. No, let's have, let's have lots of Smash music since we're going to come back after the break and talk about Smash. Let's, talk, let's just pick so music just from... And welcome back to that. So, if you are in the world right now, you've probably heard that Smash has released. Oh, I will have released by the time that you're hearing this. Um, it it's good. <laughs> I don't think anyone's surprised that this game is good. Um, it yeah. doesn't have Hatsune Miku in it, though. It doesn't have Hatsune Miku in it, Matt. No, it's not. But, Zero out of five. Yes, Smash. Yes. <laughs> Zero. Uh -huh. No good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so uh, Smash Ultimate on Switch. Um, really, really fun game. I've spent a lot of time in it already, um, and it's only been out for about a day and a bit here. Um, yeah, it's it's fantastic. It's a very, very fun game. There's a lot of stuff to do in it. Um, I can see this is probably one of the best value propositions on the Switch, given that it costs you know sixty eight dollars. Which, if you're like me, that's a big deal. Um, it's got a lot of stuff going for it. Um, the only thing I'd say right now is the online is a bit jank, but hopefully that'll be ironed out with time, and we'll see how we go. Um, Matt, what are you thinking about the game, other than zero out of five? 
Yeah, zero out of five. No hits any Miku, no good. Um, no, <clears throat> I like it, except there are there are a couple of niggling issues I have with it. Um I really hate the way that you unlock stuff, <laughs> like characters. Um, I also don't like that at all. It's very frustrating. I, 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 really, I like this. It's not it's not so much I mean, the way that you unlock characters is the same as in every Smash Brothers game previous, where after a certain amount of time, certain amount of playtime, a, a challenger will appear, you beat that person that, that character and then you've unlocked the character. The problem is that when you start the game, you've got like eight characters there um to play with. Out and of, I mean seventy. 74. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seven, there's 74 characters. You start with eight. And the issue I have with it is people who buy this game because they want to play multiplayer, local multiplayer, because it's a game that you want to play with your f family and friends and whatever. It's a kind of party game experience. You suddenly have to spend like 40 fucking hours to go and get every single one of these characters. So if your favorite character isn't on that list, then good luck, you're going to have to wait a pretty long time before you actually get to play Smash the way you want to play Smash. And I think that's a really bad move by Nintendo. It's fine to have a couple of characters unlock, uh, unlock that way, but, I mean, the roster out, for, out of the box should have been, you know, half the roster, at least uh, 40, 40 plus characters should have been there. It should have been everyone to from, yeah. like, up to Brawl or up to Melee or something like that. Because that would have made sense. Or... Yeah, it should have been all the core characters, and then the yeah you know, the the jokey ones or the if they just had non Ike. Nintendo ones and stuff could have been unlocked afterwards. I, I just think that's a ridiculous way to go about a party game hmm. because people are going to buy it. They're going to be like, well, you know, I'm not particularly interested in any of these characters, therefore I'm not going to want to play the game. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what Nintendo was thinking with that. That that annoyed me. Um, it also annoys me a bit as well on that topic. Sorry, before we move on. Um, the fact that there's no set like order of characters that you unlock, it's all randomized. So you can't really, you know, go for a specific challenge to unlock one character. You have to do just random nonsense and hope to the, the gods of Smash that, you know, it's the right character that you want. Because I want to play as Ike and I still haven't got Ike and it's like, you know, six or seven hours into the game. So Well that's the other thing, yeah. I mean if you if you really like a particular character, um the chances are you're not going to get it because there's so many characters that have to be unlocked this way. Like, the percentages are really bad. Like, I'm never first, getting paid out of it. Yeah. I'll be just... Link. <laughs> you have Link already, don't you? What? Not in Link's the, like, from the start. start game thing. I'm actually playing the main adventure game, and I'm actually enjoying it. So uh, the bad mode. <laughs> the bad mode. The good mode. We'll, we'll get to the... We'll get to the story in a second. I will say the other thing that I have a little bit of an issue with is it feels like there's a bit too much bloat in the game, to be honest. Um, I know you like, or a lot of people, um, but you, you already mentioned it, Alan, you like that there's so much contents in the game. But I feel like there's possibly a bit too much there. Um, like when, when you look at the level selection thing, because all of that stuff is actually unlocked from the start, um, it's, it's almost intimidating how many choices you've got. And again, I don't know. I, I, I got plenty of value out of just the original N64 Smash, which was like eight characters and 10 stages. Yeah, I don't I know if it needed to be that much. It's just, just a bit too much, I find. I don't know. I, I just love the fact there's everything in there. Like it's just the game with everything. It is great. And, and also the fact that it does have all the original Smash stages, the ones that I probably recognize the most, like Kirby's Dreamland, Hyrule Castle, and then um, uh, what's Saffron City? Saffron City with like the slightly janky looking 3D models. <laughs> makes, yeah. me, makes me really. Yeah, I, lo I love how the like the 2D uh, Charmander pops out of the the stage. To, yeah. bro to to breathe some fire and it's all very pixelated and and old it looks school. it looks it's, bad but it's great <laughs> it looks good because it looks bad it's great yeah I, I really like it um i i've got no issue with like any of the stuff that's actually in there it's just feel too much of it um i don't know i, I prefer games to have a bit of restraint finding that compared to past games just the way the content is laid out i guess and presented i'm feeling that um there's it feels because it feels more gamey to even award stuff um with the adventure mode i feel the the way the content ends up getting collected and the way the contact is just there it feels like bam 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 with content 
So it's just Sakurai throwing his hands down on the table and saying, "Don't ask me for anything ever again." <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, I feel like the older games felt more of a slog to get the content than this one does, if that makes sense. Despite the fact that yes, you have to do the whole ca- character thing, which you guys don't like, but in terms of how the content's there and how the menus are laid out and all that other stuff, like I feel like there's a more connect to that rather the past games a disconnect like i didn't really enjoy the wii u one i just stopped playing that um but i feel like i'm having more fun with this one so far Mm. i'm also getting the vibe that this one just feels a lot more like a smash game than four did in my opinion i don't know it's very insubstantial way of saying that i like this one more but i think it's better um i will also say (laughs) that before we go on to the world of light mode the new classic mode style is fantastic and I love how there's different bosses now. So it's not just a hand. <laughs> it's actually a boss now from like a game. Like I played as young will, ones and I got to fight. I will say yeah. that for all the modes that the game has, they actually got managed to miss out the one that I really enjoyed. Um, the board game thing. No, uh, from, no, you're wrong. I think, it, I think it was the Wii U one. I really enjoyed the board game thing. And, it was so bad. You know, <laughs> Well, Alan, I'm allowed to like what I like, and no, you're not. Um, <laughs> I have the final I, say. <laughs> I just think that this game, for all its bloat and for all its, I want to, you know, everything in the series is there. I, I think it's hilarious that they missed out on my favourite single player thing, which was the board game thing. I, I think, think that's pretty DLC. Yeah, it'll be. It'll come with Joker, which, by the way, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh yes, I'm buying Joker. that. I'm buying that. Alan, right Alan says, Joker, we should probably explain, uh, for people who didn't, who missed the news, uh, Persona 5's protagonist, Joker, has been confirmed for a release in Smash uh, as so, DLC, which is pretty good. The best it's not the best character. I mean, Joker, Joker's all right, but he's not the best, but it's a good start. So they, can, good. they can expand from here. It was so the so better than Metroid being revealed at the Game Awards. Like it, it was like the best reveal Nintendo could have possibly done. Like, and by that point, you were just tired. You were like, "How long is this going for?" I would need to prepare for the party, you know. And it's just like you know the esports and all that other boring stuff started appearing, and then all of a sudden, Reggie's on stage and he's like, "Blah blah blah," and you know, then there's like trailer <laughs> for like, you know, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> yeah. And then there's just like this uh, trailer for like, you know, <laughs> me, me and Nintendo over here, really blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and <they're> so <laughs> that's what um, stuff got in the opening anyway. Um, and then, yeah, so basically they have this like little Joker cut scene. And you're like, oh my God, is it going to be announced for the switch? And then it's just like so random. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, it's smash bros. Cause you're a little, little emblem. And it's just, like, what? I just can't wait for the soundtrack to be in Smash so I can play Smash and listen to Rivers in the Desert. Just that's all I need. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's... It also means that there'll be like a, a port of um, Persona 5 to the Switch. That I would be nice. was thinking it's more likely that we'll get Persona Q, a collection. Well, you can't. They can't actually put Persona Q on the Switch. Really? Because Persona Q absolutely mandates the two screens that the 3DS has. Um, <laughs> okay. So with Persona Q, the top screen is the dungeon itself, and the bottom screen is a map which you actually have to physically fill in as you play. Uh, it's the Etrian, Etrian Odyssey gameplay style, and there's absolutely no way to do that on a single screen. Like They just can't. So um, I, they wouldn't be able to bring it to Switch without completely changing the game and mm. redoing it, basically, to yes, be a more standard dungeon crawler. map. So I can't see them doing that, unfortunately. But, you know, Persona 5 on the Switch would be good. Persona 5 Dancing on the Switch would be even better. Well, because Persona 5 is also on PS3, so it's not out of the question that they could totally just do it. Like, they could. Uh, the only possible. question would be whether... The only question would be whether the actual cartridges of the Switch are large enough for it. They might just do that thing that they did with 2K, though, where they just have the Switch cartridge and then you have to download a thing as well. Like, that would be... Yeah, that, what that's entirely possible. Yeah, well, Switch that, that's entirely can possible. Can go up to a, like a large amount. It's just that developers don't utilize it because it's like easier to do like a you know eight gig cartridge and say you like fifty gig game is on the cloud or something. I don't know. Like it's just easier to do. Well, that. it's not. It's not that. It's incredibly expensive to get the larger sized cartridge. Um, mm. And 
that larger size cartridge is still I don't think it's I don't think it's large enough for Persona Five because Persona Five is a very big it's game. Like a it's a seventy gig game or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's about seventy or eighty gig. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a huge. Game. There's no cartridge that fits that. So they, at the very least, even if they used the biggest cartridge they could, there would still be about half the game you need to download anyway. Hmm. It's a big game because there's so much. Vo <laughs> there's so much voice acting. There's so much music. All of that stuff really adds to the. There's only the so much you can press. Yeah. Check it on SD card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to happen, but yes, that'd be cool. Um, uh, final thoughts on Smash before we move. It's good. It's good. It's, it's good. It's worth it if you like this Nintendo Switch. You're probably going to like Smash. <laughs> it'll sell It'll sell a whole bunch of Switches for Nintendo over Christmas. Let's put oh, it that way. I think it um, already has. <laughs> like people it, who were on the fence or people who hadn't got around to buying uh, a Switch yet, they'll... Um, They'll see this game and they'll think that this is this is the one that kind of pushes them over the line. It'll be the game that kids want for Christmas, which means the parents will also have to buy Switches. Um, and it's actually a really good game to have on the Switch anyway because you can play it with the Joy-Cons, the individual Joy-Cons. Yeah. So when you're out and about, when you're out and about, and you're on the train or you're on a plane and uh, you want to play. And you you can play two player there and then with um just those little controllers, which is pretty this neat. Is, I really this like. It's a travel game. I feel it's the perfect. It is game. definitely. So yeah, definitely. And and that single player mode, the the story mode, which we didn't actually get around to talking about. We can talk about um, it. It's it is <laughs> it is good. Um, it's not good. It it, it is <laughs> good, and it does it, it gives you plenty of single player stuff to do and. It feels pretty complex, so it, it Smash has always struggled with the single player, and I think that this is a good solution for it. All right, well, we're going to move to some music and then come back and probably talk about some more stuff related to this. Let's have Ger Gerudo Valley, the song, because that's a no. stage in Smash. <laughs> no, the place. Stage. <laughs> no, not the place. Gerudo Valley, I insist.
And welcome back from that. That was Garuda Valley. It's a good song. I like Garuda Valley quite a lot. Um, we're going to talk very briefly now about the single player mode in Smash Ultimate, uh, which is called World of Light, which has the single greatest intro cutscene I've ever seen in my life. Um, it was the trailer that they used a while ago in which everyone dies. Everyone dies, and it's wonderful. Makes me Everyone happy. dies like they die, like everyone dies. No, yeah, they... half the people die in Avengers. You gotta get this right. Yeah, everyone but Kirby dies in this one, which is basically the same thing. Because he is worth 10,000 men. He's um, Kirby Captain America or Iron Man? He's definitely not Captain America. Captain America's dumb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Where's the Punisher? I imagine that Snake is just the Punisher in this world. I, I, I will say that cutscene bothered me a little bit for just a couple of things. <laughs> Firstly, what... what what the what the hell was Wii Fit Trainer actually doing in that? Uh, doing calisthenics. It's important. Yeah, that. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's like it's like his battle for the fate of the planet, and there's we Wii Fit Trainer doing yoga poses, and I'm like, what the? Oh, no, I was so glad that Wii Fit Trainer got, got in disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it I, was I, just I'm... such a red. It was such a weird thing. Like some of them makes a lot of sense. Like links there deflecting. <clears throat> the beams of light with his shield and he's fighting, he's doing his best and, you know, uh, the other characters are trying to get away from it or whatever. But there's Wii Fit, Wii Fit Trainer doing yoga poses. And it's but just like, it, it's not the right time. Soul, it's not the right time for that. <laughs> when you have a centered soul, you'll be right. You know, it's it's all about positivity energy and that's how Wii Fit Trainer was contributing. Yes. I also couldn't, I, I also... I also laughed about the the squigglings, the inklings, whatever oh, they're they, called. They suck <laughs> because they they are so useless. But they had to be in the intro because they're like a major new character for this this game. So all they do is they drop some ink down and dive and hide in at the gutless wonders. I was so glad that they got disappeared. There's a this couple of characters that I just wish didn't come back. This feels like a bit of like anti squid propaganda. Matt doesn't like Splatoon, so he's like doesn't know that when you hide, it's like actually because you're going to like come out with like a gun and just like splat someone. Well, that didn't work for them, did it? They got disappeared. Well, only Kirby. It was like only like five possible characters which technically could have survived. There was like a list of them, and, like... and there was no way in hell they were going to let Bayonetta be the main hero. <laughs> there was zero <laughs> chance of that ever happening, unfortunately. <laughs> That's a pity because she was pretty. She was pretty badass in that cutscene. She was pretty good. Yeah. Also, I love yeah, watching. Kirb, I love watching um, uh, Sonic reach out for Pikachu's hand and then just get obliterated. <laughs> it makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> There's something really nice about that. That's okay. Um, anyway, onto the actual game. Um, <laughs> there are these things called spirits now, which are basically just stickers of Nintendo characters. They have Buck Bumble, which is all I care about, pretty much. Um, so they add like passive stats to you or they might give you a weapon that you start every round with stuff like that um it, it makes the game a grind which is incredibly frustrating for me um so what will happen is you'll go through like various matches with different conditions like the floor is lava or um the screen will flip every like 10 seconds or some nonsense um and you have to just try and win and there'll be certain matches where if you win the fight, you'll unlock that character for the entire game. Um, which is annoying because it means that you can't really see who's on the map and where you want to go because the characters are not shown to you who they are before you get next to them, which is dumb. It's real dumb. Um, so if you don't like playing as Kirby, you're kind of not going to have a good time. Um, I, I think you kind of skipped a couple of steps there, Alan. Um Maybe for people who haven't played this mode, no. Um, but basically, this is this is a, I'd say it's an attempt to kind of put some RPG style mechanics into Smash Brothers for a single player mode. Um, and in fact, the the whole title of it and the way it's presented makes it look kind of like Nintendo's playing up to the Final Fantasy style um, aesthetic. Uh, and yeah, once you've gone through that opening cutscene, you're dropped into 
the plant the, the world and you can move from spot to spot and there's little glowing things on the world where you when you come into contact with them you fight a battle and based on how you go in that battle if you win it you get stuff you get loot which you can apply to your character which buffs them up gives them stats and all that stuff which alan described so you go around you do that uh, and then you do some more fighting and then you do a bit more fighting um and slowly clear the map of those glowing dots and open it up and on the way to the final battle which is basically what you do in an rpg anyway um it's just that now you do it with smash as the fighting system and it's just less is, fun okay no i like it it's like really gamified like it's so much better than like the past games and you've got this great gamified world and you it's like a fighting game anyway like you're gonna be battling these things somewhere along the line like might as well do it in like a cool little rpg like setting and the art overworld art style is like top notch so it's great yeah and i find it very tedious so far and it's it's very similar i find it very similar to the soul caliber one um what did you think of soul calibers i've always liked soul caliber stuff because it makes a lot more sense for that game because <laughs> like you're getting a new weapon but in this you're just like applying a sticker to your face and it makes you a better fighter and that's dumb um <laughs> i don't know I'm it's like an armor i need <laughs> I need it to be entirely skill based in this sort of game for me to enjoy it, and it doesn't feel like that's the case. I spent like two hours on a single fight against Captain Olimar's mate. No, it wasn't two hours. It was like half an hour max, um, but it felt like an eternity. And it, he maybe maybe your problem with it, Alan, is you're not good. Oh. <laughs> maybe you need to get good. You know what, Matt? I'm, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fly to your house. I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> I'll do it. Um, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. I, for those who are interested, I'm actually okay at this game. I used to do competitive brawl and melee, so <laughs> Matt's just being a prick because he knows it upsets me. <laughs> uh, Alan's trying to defend his legacy right now. Yeah, my only legacy is in brawl. That's all right. Um, <laughs> old games. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I know. It's, a lot of this game just feels like there's not much you can do about it if they just have a stat that is higher than you, which is frustrating for me, but it's all right. I'm sure that I'll turn around on it when I get some more characters who I actually want to play as like anyone. But again, isn't that's kind of, Mario that's kind of RPG. Like Alan, if you go down the wrong path in an RPG, you're going to come up against enemies. You just can't beat because they're beyond your skill level don't, at that they point. They don't really time. give you the choice though, in a lot of RPGs and this, like it's, you can go one of three ways. And I went one way that just decided to have this hell demon with a ship. And it was not okay. So, well, the whole point of one of three ways is that you pick the like, especially at the start, you pick the character which you want. And you're like, well, I wanted the villager, and then I got screwed over because everything else after that was like way not worth the villager's time or effort. Yeah, I don't know. I liked math. I picked math, but that was fine. Um, yeah, the game mode's interesting. I don't know. I probably won't play much more of it because I'm more interested in online and in the classic mode, which is probably the better mode for me, just in terms of what I'm interested in personally. Um, a lot less. Well, than that's what... that's. I mean, that's kind of the point of Smash. There's so many different ways to play anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah. For me, I'm not particularly interested in online because for me, Smash is very much a local multiplayer experience, and I never felt the same <laughs> vibes when I played online. But you've never been smashed online. I've never, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I quite, I quite like this as a single player thing. I think it's hilarious that people are getting upset about spoilers because it's so not um, yeah, okay. going to win. It's I'm not going to win their angry awards. About... Let's put it that way. <laughs> like it has no Let's... story. <laughs> There's nothing. It's people like getting upset evil... about spoilers for that. <laughs> yeah. It's an evil yeah. ball of light that eats people. Like, cool. I'm really, like, I'm just really amazed by the narrative display. It sounds like the plot to Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Pretty much, actually. <laughs> or the pattern. Avengers. Or most Western media properties at this point. Um, <laughs> it's all right. Um, yeah, so that's Sword of Light. It's good. It's fine. I don't think I like it very much, but I might change my opinion soon i don't know i've only had the game for 20 i've only had the game for like 12 hours at this point so 
Yeah, I don't know. It's fun. So we have... the board game back. Give me the board game back. We're never getting the board game back, Matt. I, I want out. the board game back. I'm so upset by Nintendo. This, this is we're putting everything into Smash Brothers Ball except for the board game. Yeah, wankers. <laughs> and with that, five. <laughs> zero out of five. No Hatsune Miku. No board game. Yeah, there's no review up on digitally downloaded.net right now because Matt is trying to convince everyone that it's okay to give it a zero out of five. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a fight I'm going to win, but it's just going to take me a while. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, with that, um, I think we're going to wrap this bad boy up. Go play Smash. I'm going to go play Smash right now. I'm talking about Smash Face. You want to play Smash? So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do yeah, now. Yeah. Let's play the music. Let's play the music from the Xenoblade Chronicles level because that's really good. Yeah. Not the level. The level's ter- terrible, but the music's great. The music's, music's, music's real good. Alrighty. Well, we'll see you all next time.